Some big offensive performances last week for Viking women's basketball coming off a 98-point game against Trinity Bible College on Tuesday. The Viking offense kept rolling Friday night against Waldorf College. VCSU jumped out to a 28-13 lead after the first quarter and never looked back, rolling to a 95-42 conference victory. Nyjah Bass scored a season-high 17 points to lead the Vikings. VCSU shot 52% from the field, forced 27 turnovers in the game. That conference win improves the Vikings to 3-0 in conference play. On Saturday, more of the same for Valley City State, which topped 90 points for the third consecutive contest. Valley City State opened up a 23-point halftime lead and route to a 93-72 win. Georgia Williams made six three-pointers in the game, scored 22 points to lead VCSU's offense. Freshman Ali Vandal added 17 points for the Vikings, including back-to-back -back threes during a stretch where she scored 13 straight points to end the third quarter. With those three wins last week, the Vikings are now back above 500 at 7-5 overall. VCSU currently leads the North Star with a 3-0 conference record. Vikings on the road Tuesday night, 7 p.m. exhibition game at University of Mary. Following that game, VCSU is off until after Christmas. Valley City State's men also rolled to a 3-0 record last week pickup on Friday night where the Vikings hosted number 15 ranked Waldorf College for a conference game. The Vikings never trailed in this game as they routed the Warriors 80-55. Back-to-back first half dunks by LJ Booth helped VCSU to a 37-27 halftime lead. After Waldorf fought back to within four in the second half, the Vikings responded with a quick five points in seven seconds to regain control of the game before they pulled away down the stretch. Justin Galloway scored 18 points, Jaden Ferguson added 16 for the Vikings, who improved to 2-0 in North Star Conference play. Another big victory for the Vikings on Saturday, taking down Johnson and Wales by a score of 89-71. Vikings open up a 51-34 lead at halftime, took control, and never trailed in the game. The Wildcats, though, did fight back. They were back within one point in the second half, but VCSU was able to pull away down the stretch for their sixth straight victory. Jaden Ferguson went off for 24 points in the win. Galloway and Nigel Drury each added 14, and Daryl Howell had 12 points and 5 assists. Viking men now 10-1 and one to start the season. They will likely be ranked inside the top 25 when a new poll is released this week. VCSU has a pair of challenging games coming up against ranked teams, both at home in the bubble. On Wednesday, Vikings host number 8 ranked Dakota Wesleyan at 7 p.m. And then on Saturday, the Vikings host number 16 ranked Bellevue. That's a conference game at 6.30 p.m. Saturday. A pair of Viking volleyball athletes were honored last week with the Dactronics NAI Scholar Athlete Award. Both Barb Ector and Steph Miller earned the honor, which recognizes juniors and seniors who excel in the classroom. And Valley City State University is hosting the annual girls high school basketball Barnes County Tournament this week at the bubble. Eight area high school teams in town for games on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Visit vcsuvikings.com slash bct for tournament results and an up-to-date schedule.